this episode, I'm going to have a little fun by creating a Rolling Stone magazine cover in Inkscape version 0.46. I got the idea for this screencast the other day when I was watching my three children play Rock Band World Tour. Unfortunately, I hadn't had time to make a, a nice band-worthy group photo of the three to use in my project, so I thought, what the heck, I'll just make a spoof cover of what I would like to see instead. I was able to find an Adobe Illustrator image of the Rolling Stone logo which I converted to an SVG file. For those who would like to join in on the fun and make your own personal magazine cover, then I have provided the logo for download. Go ahead and make yourself a rock star. Okay, let's begin. The first thing I want to do is go to File, Document Properties, and I'm going to set my document property up for a US letter, Portrait, and I'm going to set it for inches. If that's not the correct magazine size, it really doesn't matter. This is just for personal use anyways. Okay, and what I'm going to do next is draw a rectangle, the same size, change that to inches here. And I'll make this 8.5 by 11 and I'll center that on my page. Okay, and we'll zoom out just a little bit. Okay, now what I'm going to do is bring in the background that I'm going to use for my magazine cover. And it happens to be a Les Paul image of a guitar and I'm using a JPEG. It's pretty high resolution, okay? So what I'm going to do is duplicate this background and I'm going to change its opacity just a little bit. We'll put about a 75 in there. Let me zoom in here. And what I'm going to do is just clip the image. Looks pretty good. And we'll move this back to full opacity. I'll select my rectangle, my image, and I'll go to clip set. Okay, we'll zoom out and I'll put that on my page. Okay, and let's take a look at that. Okay, and that gives me a nice background image. Like I said before in the beginning, it'd have been nice if I had a, a, a either a photo of my children or you know a photo of somebody to stick on here. That's usually what Rolling Stone does. But uh, in this case, we're just going to use uh, uh, just a, like a default type background. Okay. So I think we're ready now for our Rolling Stone logo. And uh, this is a nice uh, SVG file. I'm going to take that and I'm going to ungroup it. Okay. We're going to select our red color and I'm going to change its shade just a little bit. It's a little bit brighter. And then we'll group that again. Okay, zoom out here, and we'll put that at the top, it'll become our header, and holding the control key down, we're going to scale this up just a little bit, and we'll put this in the center of our page. Okay, and I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Now we're gonna basically for the rest of the tutorial we're just adding text. So I'm gonna add a date up here. And let's see, we'll probably pick a free sands. Okay, and that might be a little big, so we'll skew it down just a little bit. Okay, and let's add some more detail. Um, usually on magazines there is a barcode, so we're going to go to Effects, Render, 
barcode and it doesn't really matter what you put in here for the barcode data I just put 12 digits in there um, I'm just gonna hit apply and you get that nasty little message but it does work whoops I hit it again accidentally that's okay we'll just delete the one we don't want okay and that gives us a barcode what I'm gonna do next is draw a rectangle and I'm gonna put that behind the barcode push this in on the side just a little bit and I'll make that background white okay and we'll group that together and this isn't an accurate barcode by any means we're just trying to make just trying to simulate something here okay I think that looks pretty good that's our magazine barcode next thing I'm gonna do is add a uh, I don't know what you call it, a, a swatch or something across here. I'll grab my Bezier tool. I'll select down here. And I want to select this about 30 degrees. You can see down on my status bar um, that I'm holding my control key down and uh, I'm going up every 15 degrees, I believe. Or maybe it's 10. Uh, it depends on what you have set in your uh, document settings. Okay and we'll go down a ways and we'll get this shape like this okay we'll move this up just a little bit and I'll make that red I'll remove its stroke okay and now we need to get to that gray image behind here so uh, on Ubuntu what I'm going to use is the super alt key uh, in Windows you just hold the alt key down and you select your background image and uh, hopefully that'll get me to uh, it says right here that I've got the image selected so we hold the alt key down again and we get the rectangle behind it now I'm gonna right click and duplicate okay and if you've done it right you'll get a gray rectangle so we're gonna select our gray we'll select our red we will go to path intersection okay that'll give that'll cut that right there and we're gonna put some text there so we'll just make up something we'll say uh, Inkscape um, 0 0.47 preview and we'll center that up We'll go to our text tool, text dialog box, and I'm going to go about 120 here and hit apply. And I'm going to go with an impact font. And normally I don't like using the impact font. It's, a, it's overused. Um, it's not a great font. Uh, but for the case of uh, this magazine, I think it works just fine. So we'll make that bold italic. and holding the control key down I'm gonna rotate this the same 30 degrees okay and we're gonna take this and we're gonna have to change its spacing and its size I'm holding the control key down change its scale I'll do some more okay now that I think that's close enough what I'm gonna do let's go back in and change its spacing again and this time we're gonna go 120 and I'm just gonna eye that I think that looks pretty good okay I'm gonna make this white right click and duplicate make it black push this down just a little bit and push it back okay if it's a little too extreme we can zoom in a little closer and 
change that there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and group this. And we'll bump it just a little bit. We don't want to get it too close to our edges. Okay, I think that's good enough. Now again, if uh, you were going to do a really professional job, there are about a hundred different ways of making drop shadows in Inkscape. And uh, one of them would be to make a, uh, a filter, uh, an effect filter. And um, you could set up a couple different drop shadows to use on different texts. And that way your, your drop shadow is consistent for each text uh, that you're going to be using. But here we do things quick and dirty. That's my way. Okay, so we've got that part. So now we're going to add in some more text. And the most important text of all is the main feature of this magazine. So let's type in Richard's name. Okay, and we're going to change that text to impact. We'll just come in here, select I. Just kind of move this around. Again, I'm holding the control key down to scale it. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let's bump it down just a little bit more. Okay, that's going to be our main text. We're going to make that white. We're going to duplicate that. push this back a bit. Okay, there we get Richard Quarren. Okay, we're going to add some more text. We'll do exclusive interview. Okay, and that text will be impact text. We're going to make that text red. We're going to scale that up just a little bit. Okay. And we'll add some more text. Let's see, what do we want to say? Yeah, let's back this up. Well, I got to spell it right. Okay, how Inkscape saved his life and his pony. That's brilliant. Okay. So this time, let's go to a free font here. Let's go to, let's find free sans. We'll make it bold, apply. And what I'm going to do is hop in here in my text, and I'm going to adjust my kerning. Again, I do that by uh, double-clicking on my text, uh, selecting uh, where I want my cursor to be, and I hold the Alt key down and then the arrow keys. That's how you kern text manually. Okay, we're going to make this just a little bit smaller. Move this up. Select both of these, holding the control key down, and I'll just move those down just a little bit. Okay. Richard Quarren, exclusive interview, how Inkscape saved his life and his pony. Richard is a big horse lover. Okay, let's add a little bit of a description up here.
and again we use an impact font we'll go bold italic even though there is no bold here okay and I'm gonna change that text color to white I'm gonna right click duplicate we'll change it to black and we'll give that just a little bit of a drop shadow too to make it stand out okay and that is the main article of the page I'll go ahead and take all that and group it together that way we can move that group around okay let's continue on with some more text let's give uh, John O'Bacon a shout Let's add his band in here. If you want to call it a band, band of one. Okay, and we go to text, and we're going to go free sands. Make this a little bit bigger. Again, I'm just fudging all this stuff. If you want it right on the money, you can put some guides down in here, align everything up. Uh, I think it's good enough. I'm going to make that white. We'll right click on that and duplicate. We'll make that black. Okay, we'll give that just a little bit of a drop shadow. Add some more text. Make that text yellow. Find our free sands. text should stand out a little bit better because I'm getting down into the darkness of the uh, of the guitar here and you can take that and group that together and just move that down just a little bit you can take these okay we can go to our line we'll pick last selected and I'll make sure everything is pushed over to the left there okay I think we're getting close. Let's add some more text. Um, how about Nickelback? Another band from the Great White North. Okay, did I spell that right? I tend to make typos as I get tired. And we'll go impact. make this too big on this side okay we'll type out some more gibberish zoom in on this I'll skew that down just a little bit again I'm holding the control key down yanking on this handle okay I'm gonna make this text white duplicate black you should know the routine by now make that stand out a little bit we'll drop its level back Go 
bit of it or just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, we'll group that together and let's type out some more text here. We'll put in another stellar band. Lover boy. These are all Richard Quern's favorite bands. Okay. Go to text, go to free sands, I got a picture of Richard somewhere with his red headband on, big big lover boy fan, okay let's move this down just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to make that white. Again, duplicate black. I'm not getting too crazy with our uh, fonts here because I want some consistency in the magazine cover. Okay, and let's type out some text. Number one fan. You get as famous as Richard, there are perks. It's awful lucky to meet some of these guys. Okay. Just a little bit smaller. Again, I'm just kind of doing this by eye. If you're doing this for yourself, make this a little bit better. Okay, we'll move that down just a little bit. And we'll go ahead and make that yellow so we can see it. Okay, and I think we're getting close. Let's add some more text. This time I'll leave Richard alone. Paul Anka. Ann Murray. Gordon Lightfoot. that text over here this way smaller. I'll make this too big. Okay. And we'll make this white. We'll right click on that, duplicate, black. Give that a drop shadow. Make sure I spelled everything right. Looks like it did. And finally, we'll add some more text. And I need to spell that correctly. And again, holding the control key down, I'll grab a handle. Make that text red. 
Free Sands Bold. Okay, let's take this and we'll group that together. Okay, and let's zoom out and take a look at what we have. Let's adjust this a little bit and drop this down. Let's take our, our Nickelback stuff, move it up a little bit. Okay, and that is our Rolling Stone magazine cover. Now, this is awfully close to desktop publishing. Okay, again, um, if you saw my last episode, I think it was uh, episode 77, uh, I covered uh, some real basic desktop publishing. Well, this is kind of the same thing. Uh, typically, people can use InDesign uh, or the free Scribus, uh, my personal favorite, to do this type of thing. Uh, but Inkscape can do it too. And, uh, you know, a project like this is awfully fun. Um, one of the ideas that I had uh, for my kids, um, I wanted to do a black and white uh, Rolling Stone cover like this and put it in a frame and just hang that on the wall just kinda make it look like uh, they were in a band together I thought that would be a fun little project but that is basically our Rolling Stone uh, magazine cover now again this is Rolling Stones logo so please you know if it's for personal stuff that's fine uh, don't try to sell this type of stuff uh, you might get in trouble with Rolling Stone um, but I think uh, we'll be okay since uh, our videos here are free and for personal stuff, I don't think it, it, it does any harm. So, thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.